This is our daily mission prices. It's only twelve fifty. Seniors over sixty, it's eleven fifty. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Waco, Texas and today I'm visiting the Cameron Park Zoo. Now I just got my hat at the gift shop right here in the front. It's right where the wheelchair rentals are. It was uh, $20 plus tax, around $23 and that's usually average about what the hats are. So if you're not familiar with my videos, one of the things that has become a consistent part of my videos is I always get a hat unless of course hats are not available it's happened several times this trip but anyway I get the hats because it helps protect my head gives me a nice cheap souvenir and it helps support the establishment that I'm at when it comes to zoos I'm all about that very important uh, that's why I go to all so many zoos I love animals learning about them and showing everybody that loves animals all the beautiful zoos that I visit. So this is known as a natural habitat zoo. It's what they advertise anyway. So I'm gonna try to find a stationary map. I was given a paper map. If I can't find a stationary map soon, I'll show you the paper map. And then we'll get started and we'll see what we're gonna see. All right, so I do not see a stationary map currently in the area that I'm at. I'm right here at the zoo entrance. Okay, so there's a main main circle and you go to all these different areas off of the main the main circle so I am closest to the right side so I figured we'll just work our way around here and we'll come around should be a good day slight overcast not supposed to be any rain nice and cool so this should be fun right in the front right past the main entrance on the left they have wagon and wheelchair rentals all right so directly to the right of the main entrance are restroom locations all right so i found a stationary map i just didn't go down far enough so this is where i'm at you see right down here that little circle so we're gonna follow the path and hopefully get to see a whole bunch of animals so in addition to the maps, they have some good signage with arrows pointing to the different areas. All right, so first we come up to is the white handed gibbon. You can see the natural looking habitat. All right, so currently, I do not see them out yet. The zoo just opened at 11 o'clock, so I will come back. And I'm guessing normally there is a nice waterfall here. I was just showing you the rock work. This is all on boardwalks. All right, bald eagle. All right, I see two of them in here. There's the second one. Anytime you see a bald eagle in a zoo, they are here because they are injured. I'm unable to survive on their own. Oh my god! Sell for some nice shade on a hot sunny day. So why animals need plants? You see a lot of animals at the zoo, but don't forget about the plants. Plants and animals depend on each other closely for survival. We've got parrots of the world. We've got some of the macaws. We've got Galapagos tortoise. This guy's got a very nice looking habitat. That's a good size right there. Got another one there in the mud. Enjoying the water. Another big guy right here. So directly across from the Galapagos tortoises, another restroom location. Another well, Galapagos tortoise statue. The Grammy Nellies. Some stuff for the kids to entertain themselves. A couple things to make music. Plenty of benches. That's awesome. Safe. Saving animals from extinction. We got a king vulture. It's got squirrel monkey. Two-toed sloth. 
spiny-tailed black iguana, green iguana, and sun kernier. Also we got Patagonian cavi, agouti, capybara, yellow-headed Amazon, scarlet ibis, red-footed tortoise, white-faced whistling duck, Collins magpie jay, Southern's pigeon, and Inca tern. This one habitat has a whole plethora of different animals. Got one little monkeys. The cute fuzzy one. One of the ducks. One of the birdies. What a cute little ducky. Little monkey. Got some lettuce. Now it's still a very early. I do not see all the animals yet. But I will check back a little bit later and hopefully get to see some of the other critters that share this habitat. Now we got Braz's River Country. That's cool, it looks like we're going into a boat or a ship. Got this tank. So we're gonna see in here, yellow tang. Got black striped damsel. Coal tang. Longhorn cowfish. Fox face rabbit fish. Royal grandma. Spotted puffer. Coral beauty angelfish. Mandarin gulby. That's pretty. Two spot surgeon fish. Ocelorus clownfish. Blue green chromos. Scopus Tang. White, white cheek Tang. Falco Hawkfish. Flame hawkfish. Blue devil damselfish. Hoven's race. Swells Swiss Guard Basslet. Blue Chromus. Lartail Antelope.
Prometheus. Royal blue tank. This one tank has a whole lot of different fish. That is an awesome fish right there. Got this other nice looking tank. You can see some purple tang, pink scuff clownfish, saddleback clownfish, ocelorous clownfish, and blue green chromis. So there are lots of different varieties of clownfish. This tank has lionfish. Dick race. Yellow Ray. Brown Chromis. Caribbean Shark Nose Puffer Fish. I'm pretty cool looking fish. This is a big giant tank. We're putting some food down for them. You can see how big this tank is. We've got yellow goat fish. Vermilion snapper. Cottonwood grunt. Atlantic speedfish. Black drum. Blue angelfish. Got blue tang. Honeycomb cowfish. Florida pompano. Got French angelfish. French grunt. Long spine squirrelfish. Look down. Spotted more eel. Cuban hogfish. Pinfish. Porkfish. Princess parrotfish. Sergeant major. Spanish hogfish. Spotted porcupine fish. Yellowtail snapper. Caesar grunt. Rock hind grouper. Ocean surgeon fish. Pacific tarpon. Queen angelfish. Sailfin tang. Balloon fish. Sailor's grunt. Got red band parrotfish. Got queen parrotfish. Got blue striped grunt. Yellowtail damsel fish. And southern stingray. See the stingray. Bunch of look down at the top. Sorts of 
fish in this tank. That's cool looking ones, one by. Another ray. Some of the food that they put in the tank. The big puffer. Alright, so this eel could be pretty much anywhere. I just don't see him. All sorts of little crevices from the BN. Where's this gorgeous looking tank? Think before you toss. It's all the stuff that is polluting the waters. And how long it takes to dissolve plastics, which is the most abundant trash that's in the waters, never disintegrates. It, it never goes away. Right, so we exit into a bird aviary. There's all the different birds we'll see in here. And the duckies. It's called a black neck stilt. And of course we got the herring gulls all over. Got a double crested cormorant. Got a black crowned night heron. Got northern pintail. Got a black bellied whistling duck. Rosette spoonbill. An American bittern. It's so very aptly named, he's got big legs. Or... Yeah, it's a black neck stilt. Very aptly named, looks like the size of those legs. So some of the birds in here are injured, or injuries, missing or drooping wings. You see all the pelicans. Some of the other ducks. I see a heron. Oh, they even got seagulls in here. I see seagulls all the time back at home in Florida. Oh my god, that is such a cute little bird right there. There's a rosette spoonbill. A little birdie. I'm not sure if it's on the nest or not. Got an American alligator. The alligator's got lots of water and here is alligator. Whoa. I can see. Really cool looking. Alright, we got a beaver. Why is there God, I love all their signage. That's cool. Got a beaver statue here. This is alligator snapping turtle. It's kinda of like, kind of like squished up against the rocks. Got two younger alligators. Underwater view, you see the second alligator right across this other big guy. Right, then we come to this area here. All right, so in addition to the habitats for the animals looking all natural, just the whole design of the zoo is really, really nice. All right, we got cougar. Cougar's got lots of rocks. And it's right in the back. All right. That is awesome. Very nice looking. We got a crested caracara. There's a crested caracara. Hopefully, I'm saying it correctly. And with them, we got a black vulture. This can be scary looking, especially when you come across them at nighttime. Years ago, I used to ride my bike to work, and oftentimes I would get out of work after it was dark. So, riding home, 
I had to go down a street that had a bunch of trees on one side and one of these a lot larger was right on the side and it scared the living daylights out of me wild vultures Go. Two vulture species that are native to Texas, the bat vulture and the turkey vulture. One of them up here on the rocks. Shall I get a better view on the other side? What's up with all the vultures? So following the path that we're on, there was restroom locations. Yeah, I got river otters. Alright, river otters. the river otters. Oh, we got black bear. Again, I loved her signage. There we go, you see all of the vultures. Lots and lots and lots of vultures. So the black bear is here with all the vultures. Obviously gets along with them well. Yeah, you see all the vultures. Right, we got the Ross Walker River Encounter next. Wow, we got this awesome looking habitat. Here she's some bluegill, long ear sunfish. Reader sunfish, some channel catfish, spotted gar, common carp, largemouth bass, spiny softshell turtle, turtles are going to see some red eared slider, river cooter, and yellow bellied slider. So lots of different river fish. Look those cool yellow catfish. Looks like an albino. Because that is the standard catfish to the left. There's one of the other turtles. Another big fish in here. Here's some paddlefish. Some bowfin. Big mouth buffalo. Spotted gar. And shovelno sturgeon. So paddlefish are swimming with their mouths open. Looks really weird. That's how they feed. The gar. It's just really weird looking, man. Some by working mouths open. Got a young American alligator named Dolly. D A L I. Got a broad banded copperhead. Got black spotted newt. I guess they try to do it like you try to get out. Another one. It's a nice habitat. It's a western diamondback rattlesnake. Yes. We got cane grape rattlesnake and Texas rat snake. 
the Biggie Snakey right there. Get another big one right there in the tree. Got a Great Plains rat snake in here. See him right here. This is a nice habitat. Got a Louisiana pine snake. See pygmy rattlesnake. Yeah, we got two snakes in here. When you're on the bottom, is a yellow belly water snake. Snake up here is called a broad banded water snake. And snakes do have water to be in. Got this nice looking habitat. Got some green tree frogs. Got this aquarium tank here. Got Rio Grande cichlids. This tank has Pico's pupfish. Cute little fishies right here. In case you're wondering, the internal and external anatomy of fishes. All right, got the Bezos River country. Can you dig it? Got some fossils here. And we got a nice waterfall. And we got the cats of Texas. We got jaguar, ocelot, mountain lion, jaguarundi. And Margay, and also a bobcat. Got the jaguar. Oh, wow. Yeah, the jaguar is the third biggest cat in the world. What is the Have a nice cat nap. Here is a bobcat. Come here. Because he got the cute little stubby tails. So, a bobcat has lots of space and things to climb on. He's Got a secondary bobcat up here in a tree. <laughs> There's a second cougar. This one's much easier to see. Same habitat as the one that was laying on the little platform. All right, so from this other path, get a better view of the cougar that's up on the little platform. There's a coyote. All the way in the back. There's the coyote. I got the birds of prey. All right, the Brazos at night. The creatures of the night. Right, got a North American porcupine. Got a barn owl. Got some raccoon. We got an albino raccoon in here. Oh, that is awesome. I've never seen an Albano raccoon before. And right behind him is the, the standard raccoon. Very cool. So striped skunk is all the way in the back in its box. So I can't really get you a better look of them. Got barred owls. There's two of them in here. Eastern Screech Owl. All right, we got American Bison. Hi, Bison. All right, get a great shot of this one. Enjoying some hay. Oh, got a white-tailed deer. Got a couple of them along the bottom. Hi, dear. Looks like a turkey in there with them. Oh, yeah, they are cute. Then you got the male with his antlers growing in. They shed their antlers each year. 
Alright, we got some iguanas. Right Iguanas so got some breakfast out. And iguanas actually right up here. All blending in very well. Entering the, the snake building, reptiles. And got reticulated python. And part of them is underneath. With the giant snakes. The reticulated python, African rock python, green anaconda, Burmese python, common boa. An amethystine python. So this habitat has several different snakes, but in the water, you get the green anaconda. That is a whole lot of snake. You got the Amazon tree boa. The Cobier's dwarf came in. This whole area is just gorgeous. up above but all beautiful habitats it's pretty cool looking now the glass is kind of kind of spotted but there is the emerald tree boa there's several turtles in here This is the other part of the habitat for the caiman. Got a Henkel's leaf tailed gecko. This amazing habitat has a king cobra. And the king cobra is in the back. It's curled up and sleeping, I'm guessing. We've got an emerald tree monitor. This habitat has a Chinese box turtle and a blue tree monitor. A long tail. Another fantastic habitat. Got eyelash viper. This nice habitat. A mango hip wiper. In the back, there's a blood python. Sand concealment is the best escape. All these types of snakes, they blend into their surroundings. You can see the green tree python. Got a dusky pygmy rattlesnake. I see some snakes get in there, so someone did some shedding. Got a Madagascar cat eyed snake. This guy's on the bottom. It's a western diamondback rattlesnake. This cute little rattle at the end. There's tail. There's some green mambas. The one here. Now they want to sleep in the basket. She puts the snake in the basket. Now we got a modeled rock rattlesnake. Western Coach Whip. Pretty coloring. We got two different snakes in here. We got Bull Snake and Trans Pecos Copperhead. Well, that's a cool looking snake. Alright, we are in the desert. Right, this habitat has some Gila Monster. 
go, Gila Monster. Look at that black tail rattlesnake. The Grand Cayman Blue Iguana. The Ridge Tail Monitor. He's trying to get a ride. Looks like you climb. Looks like you and your brother. I got a Gaboon Viper. I really like these types of snakes. Because it looks like there's two different types of snakes in there, but it's all one snake. I got a Beaded Lizard. Not sure where he's going. It's called a Guyana Cascabel. Hopefully, I said that correctly. Got a banded rock rattlesnake. Oh, look at that little turtle. And bumps. What's the rest of them? Got some flat tailed tortoise. They are cute. Got a gray banded king snake. Look right through here. You can see them. Got a pancake tortoise. There's two of them. It's nice habitat. It's got a puff adder. This habitat has a Pubian milk snake. And the milk snake is all the way in the back. Right by its water hole. Gems of the desert. Look at Legend of the West. The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Yeah, so Western Diamondback Rattlesnake is just moving all around. Okay, so I'm showing you the map again. We came in, we followed this path. We saw all this stuff here. And this is when we entered the Herpetarium and all this area here. So now I'm right here. I'm going to head over here to the Treetop Cafe. Uh, get some lunch, most likely. And definitely a drink. We got this really nice looking bird aviary. Got white headed buffalo weaver. Vulturine guinea fowl. Red Crested Turco. Why is it talking to itself? It just it just it just it. Is that a melee? Yeah. So they have access to go inside their little house. Right, they do have restroom locations. This is, this is the menu board that they have. On the savannas. More information on the African savanna. Our Africa's giraffe shows you how the giraffe evening habitat was constructed. See those giraffes. All right, skyscraper of the savanna. All right, so we got crown crane. And Greater Kudu. And Marabou Stork. There's a little baby also. Little, little junior giraffe. Look, let's go to the other side so you can see him better. Little junior giraffe. Alright. Good, good view of them. Hi, hey, sweetheart. How you doing? I actually came over a little closer. Saw me with the camera. It's like, hey, make sure you get me good. Get my good side. See the kudu. Blowing in the back. And then the stork. Giraffes. Got Cory Bustard. There's one of the Cory Bustard. Yeah. 
There's just some cool looking birds. He's got a Cory Bustard. Pretty cool looking birds. So I've got a Deek Deek. I said so the Deek Deek is currently behind this tree right here and I cannot get an adequate view of them so I will check back a little bit later on my rewalk. Oh, global conservation very important. Oh, we got white rhinoceros. Alright so this is just one portion of the white rhinoceros habitat. Oh, two ton lawnmower. Get that. So this is additional habitat. We've got two more over here. There's the other one having a nap. At least trying to. It's magnificent animals. Alright, we've got lesser flamingo. Hi flamingos. Love seeing the flamingos. Couple of them in the back. It's having lunch upside down. Next up we got African elephant. This is the elephant's habitat. It's about the termite mounds. So the African elephants are larger than the Asian elephants. They also have larger ears. And they actually require more space than the Asian elephants. So very few zoos in the United States have African elephants for that very reason. So they do have more than one elephant. This, this happens to be the only one that I'm seeing right now. We've got Super Snout. Very versatile. And I came back, all three are laying down. And lots of more vultures. So it's showing you the map again. You see where I'm at. 39 is the African elephants. So we're going to go see 40 and 41, which are meerkats and African lions. And then we're going to be checking out the Asian forest. All right, African lion. They're both right here. Guys, there's a girl. Aw. Showing some love for each other. Whoa. You can see we want to keep this at least PG rated. Stretch. This is nice. A nice close up view of them. Got meerkats. It's a meerkat habitat. See all the different cave entrances that they have. This meerkat's just chilling out, relaxing. Yeah. Looks very comfortable. I've never seen him life like this before. That's just so cute. Oh, these guys got lots of space. Well, that is that is so funny. He's like looking at everybody. He's like, what are you guys looking at? I got a better view of the lions from this path because there's no glass to look through. All right, the mysteries of the Asian forest. All right, some Achen tigers. This is showing you what the wild population of these tigers are. Critically low. Ooh. 
Oh, that's a pretty cat. <laughs> hey, kitty cat. Oh, sorry. Come up nice and close. Everybody to see. Hold on. The death of the tigers. There's only one tiger alive today for every 25 that lived in 1850. That is really, really sad. And disgusting that human beings have done this. Paradise lost. So again, how humans have basically destroyed so much of the ecosystem, rainforests. This whole area has the boardwalks. Now that's really nice. Alright, Komodo Dragon. Oh, that is a big Komodo Dragon. This guy's got plenty of space, water to go into. And this cool Komodo Dragon statue. This is all orangutan habitat. We got plenty of stuff to climb on. I like the design of this place. Got the big food tree. There's the orangutan. Julian, turn around. Julian, what is it? Come here, look. Additional orangutan habitat around the other side. You can see one of the others. Walking back up. Oh, there we go. Lamming on up. And there's the baby. We're gonna say there's three of them in here. Mommy, daddy, and baby. Space. Information on the orangutans. So the boardwalk goes completely around the orangutan's habitat. As you can see, there is plenty of room for them. Lots of stuff to be on and swing on and hang from. Here we got Lemur Island. Several different lemur possibilities here. So this is Lemur Island. And I do not currently see any lemurs out. And it appears their doorways to nighttime habitats are not open either. So I'm not really sure why they are not out here. Usually you have the nighttime habitat doors open and it's their choice whether or not they want to come out. Alright, so following the path, I am back at the entry point. So that concludes my initial walkthrough. Now there were only a few animals that I didn't get to see. So hopefully when I go back through a second time, I'll be able to see the few missing animals. If not, I'll show you the picture of the actual animal in case I don't get to see them, so that way you at least know what the animal looks like in case you've never seen it before. Nice property, very impressed with the signage. A lot of them are, are very, very nicely done, full color, lots of information on them. Hopefully it shows up well enough on the video that those of you that enjoy reading signs will have some reading material as you enjoy the zoo. So the very first habitat I came to today was for the white-handed gibbon and they are still not out and there's got to be a reason for it so unfortunately I will not be able to show them to you but that's what basically what they look like if you really want to see white-handed gibbon check some of my other zoo videos back at the bald eagle all right so this big habitat is where I missed the most animals 
Just like I stated earlier, there's just so many places for them to hide. Hey, one of the monkeys with a baby on its back. Right, so there was an Elgati along the top. But looks like he's laying down now. Because I don't see him anymore. Very inquisitive. So squirrel monkeys are just all over the place. On the other birds. Another scarlet ibis. So the lizards. I do not see any of the lizards. Another scarlet ibis. All right, so the Patagonian cavi, the capybara, and the agouti, I did not see. But actually, I do see one of the Patagonian cavies right here. There we go. Got a better view of them for you. All right, so two-toed sloth, spiny-tailed iguana, and green iguana were a no-show. They are in here, I just couldn't see them. I have tried to look for them. They're just not visible at the moment. Two golden conyers, open this little hole. You see the southern screamers. They're very easy to distinguish. Two alligators are up on the dry land now. Right, so I didn't see the beaver. This is what they look like. All right, cougars up, moving around now. Very nice. All right, the two bobcats are up on this little ledge here, or shelf. All right, so even though mountain lion Jagarundi, Marque, and the ocelot are listed. The zoos not have these cats. Just the jaguar and the bobcat. The two jaguar are down on the ground now. So I'm just right here next to it. The porcupine is out now. No signs for this guy. So if you got hound dogs and you're in porcupine country, you gotta make sure they stay away from these guys. All right, trying to get you a better view of the coyotes. There's one of them. And there's a second coyote. But for whatever reason, their signage is missing also. But looking on my paper map, these are definitely coyotes. And there's a third one in here too. The vulture and guinea fowl are out now. And the red crested turco. That is a pretty bird. The boy had a buffalo weaver. So all three birds are out now. I right, came back, he's out. All right. So the deek deek. So a great view of them at the fence. Get a good view of them now. All right, they're all up closer now. I always come back. Look at this white rhino's getting a drink. So I came back and there's still only the one elephant in here. Just have it waving hi to everybody. Hi, thank you for getting up. I appreciate it. He was just laying down. And he saw me with my camera and he came over. That's very nice of them. 
All right, got the orangutan family. Yeah, so they are eating the grass. Just not gonna worry about cutting the grass in here. Just need a little bit of, little bit of salad dressing to be all set. Maybe he's got a little green bucket. Oh, the remnants of a little green bucket. <laughs> Alright, so Mr. Lion is having a nap. Mr. Lion. And Mrs. Lion. Alright, one last time at Lemur Island and none of the lemurs are out. No, you know, lots of uh, water all around. That's the other island that had the other animal that was not out. All right, so I'm going to show you the gift shop real quick where I got my hat when I first got here. We have a really nice selection of hats. And lots of shirts. Got lots of plush. This is cute. Got Junior Zookeeper. For boys and girls. And you even got kid size hats and kid size t shirts. And these are cool, called penny bands. Because all around the zoo and a lot of places, they got pressed pennies you can make. That way you can put your pressed penny in your penny band. You even got carry bags and backpacks. And various mugs and cups with the zoo name on it. And additional hats. It's actually where I got my hat from. That's the hat I got right there. All right, everybody, that was my visit to Cameron Park in Waco, Texas. I had a phenomenal time here. So impressed with the habitats. Even the walkways are really, really nice. The best part of the zoo was the first area that I went to that had all of the aquariums, all the animals that were in that area. The signage was beautifully done full color whoever did the artwork on those really knows their stuff so leave me some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was there were a few animals that I did not get to see that were not on habitat also the one area that had a multitude of critters in there I tried my best to find the other ones but as I said in the video there was so many places that animals could have been hiding I did try to show you the pictures of the animals that I didn't get to see there wasn't many, so I actually had pretty good luck with animals today. Only had to go back a few places. I did try to get some better shots. So hopefully everything looks good for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave some comments down below. Like I said, I always love hearing from everybody. I return comments usually within one or two days. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.